So we're starting off looking a little greasy, a little oily, because I have on a hydrating face mask right now. Putting on powder on dry skin is not the look, so make sure you do a really, really intensive, proper skincare routine when you're putting on powder foundation. So to moisturize today, I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Dramatically Different Hydration Gel, and then I'm gonna top that up with my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I'm not gonna put too much of this Tatcha Dewy Cream because it, it's a little bit more oily and heavy. I typically like to use this at night, but because we're putting on powder foundation today, I just wanna make sure that my skin is nice and hydrated and we have no sort of dry patch or you know flakiness in sight okay boom so fully hydrated so let's go into talking about this new launch well it's not new girl you're just late to buying it Fenty have been launching products like every other week like sis I can't keep up and one of their most recent launch is this pro filter soft matte powder foundation I have mine in the color 420 now I know you want the specs so I'm gonna just jump on their website and give you some deets. So this product claims to be light as air. It's a powder foundation that gives you a light to full coverage with a soft matte finish. It gives a medium coverage and the finish is matte. It's a pressed powder, um, it's gluten free, cruelty free, all of that good stuff. It's also sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. Plus it has a chic portable compact. Now what that tells me that this is going to be a really nice summer foundation. Now I tend to do powder foundation in the summer. I did a video on that so you guys can check that out right here. But this is just screaming all summer 2021. If we can go outside like this is going to be in the bag. It also they do recommend using the sponge that comes with the package but for me but it also gives us a really cool tip that the looser the brush, the lighter the coverage. So that means that if you have a brush that's a little bit more flexible like this one, the lighter the coverage would be versus a brush like this one where the bristles are a little bit more dense and compact. So for primer today, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter. This is not like my favorite um, primer, but I am gonna use it because it's really smart when you use the products from the same line because they're formulated to like go with each other. And I'm only applying this in my t-zone because i do get a little bit oily in those areas and being that this is a powder foundation the only thing that i can think of like you know when water or oil gets in contact with powder it tends to look a little bit darker putting on a soft matte or even a matte primer is really going to help control those oils and just like not make your foundation like oxidize throughout the day a few honorable mentions are the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte longwear foundation i got this probably about two or three years ago and then most recently last year I got the pro filter hydrating longwear foundation so I was thinking that I wanted to do one half of my face with the foundation and placing the powder on top and then the other half without so that you guys can see if it really like covers hyperpigmentation my area of concern is like right here on the cheeks now for someone who have really severe hyperpigmentation or even dark circles I will recommend color correcting now I want to recommend just color correcting and going in straight with powder I think that's gonna look crazy because when you think about it the color that the color correctors are if the powder isn't opaque enough it's gonna this is basically gonna bleed through. Here is what we're looking like so far. No color correcting, color correcting. So the shade that I have in the soft matte longwear foundation is 430, which I think this is my summer shade. Looks like it's finished, hold on. So I'm gonna apply 420 in the soft matte longwear foundation on this side. The whole idea behind doing one half foundation and the other half without is just that I believe that some of you guys will like to use this over foundation. So, you know, giving you guys that option and just demoing that is um, something that I just think would be really beneficial. So just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and use this sponge that came in here. I don't ever use these. I think this is a waste of money. Like we could put so much more money into packaging and developing the product that this is just a waste of time. But Needless to say, they put it in here, so let's give it a try. I shouldn't really say that because let's say someone who don't really have a lot of brushes or on a budget, I guess it's kind of come in handy. So here we go. And again, this is in the color 420. So first impression is looking 
Okay, so I just quickly want to pause this video right here to explain the difference. So the liquid foundation is in the color 420. The powder is in 420. Both these foundations are meant to complement and give the same color payoff. As you can see, the liquid foundation has a more yellow golden undertone. And to me, the powder just seems a little bit more red. So that's the only discrepancy that I see, you know, in this whole collection. The color that you are in your liquid foundation I don't think it's going to match up to the powder. So just keep that in mind. It's looking a lot darker. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I really do like the coverage. I kind of do like the little sponge. Like I think this would be good for like on the go touch ups, but maybe not applying it to my entire face because this is going to take just a little bit more time. Here is what she looks like in the pan and here is what it looks like on my face. I would definitely say that it comes off a lot lighter in the pan than what's on your face. So I would say you could probably even go down a shade. I think the shade from this is 430 or 410. I'm not quite sure, but I would say I could probably go down a shade. And because it's giving a little bit more deeper, warmer tone in the on the face, I would say go for your original shade in the summertime and then probably like go down a shade in the wintertime. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with the Morphe E6 brush. Although it's giving me a really nice coverage, I feel as though from far away you can't really see, but up close, if you're like right in my grill, like you can really see my dark spots still. And as I add more powder, I don't really see it like covering it up anymore. It's just pretty much the same, but let me just continue to build and play with it some more. So let's go ahead and apply the rest of that powder to this side of the face. Okay, so that definitely eliminated a lot of the shine. And I'm not sure if I mentioned I use the uh, hydrating longwear foundation all right so this is what my entire face looks like now I am gonna go ahead and do my powder foundation routine highlight brows and all of that but here is what it looks like let me know what y'all think like I'm I'm low-key hype right now because this just topped my original summer powder foundation routine if you guys seen that video i just feel as though when i use like my sephora micro smooth powder i'm i feel like i'm putting in like i'm putting my back and my elbow and my knees and everything into it to really build up that coverage and because this product is a little bit more opaque now i can tell a little bit of a difference with this side versus this side i just feel as though there's a little bit more doing this in shine going on on this side versus this one so if you want to be completely matte i would say if you're really oily this is the side that you need to go with and if you're a little bit more dry you can still get your doing this but it's still like that soft matte it's not it's not completely matte and you just look it looks more youthful all right you guys so here is the final beat down simple simple glam so first thing i want to say is that i love this foundation and i can't believe that a powder foundation fenty has really given us what we've been looking for like this thing is full coverage like you can't see anything okay and now it feels very lightweight on the skin. I really, really, really like that because I noticed that there's a lot of foundations when I put put them on, it just feels like I just have too much on my face and this does not give you that feeling at all. Now I would have to say I prefer the side that has the the foundation underneath i just feel as though it's giving me a little bit more luminosity i look more youthful um this side is just a little bit more matte i think we can all benefit from a look that's just have that natural dewiness and glow now i would have to say this is perfect for like my mom's on the go and you don't have time to do all of that if you just want to look put together real quick this is the product for you because it doesn't require that much effort of course if you want to like do it all up and do go for like a more full beat you can put on foundation or even just do your regular powder foundation and highlight and brows and a nice gloss and some lashes and go um but i'm really impressed by this now i think that the color is okay because i feel like i balanced it out 
pretty well um, I probably could have done my under eyes a lot brighter but for for the most part balancing out with powder foundation and powder bronzer it worked out fine um, it's not a complete like off it's not completely off just by looking at my neck or not as I can see right now in the bright lights I'll definitely give you guys an update trying this outside you know seeing how it wears like throughout the day um I'm not really going anywhere today so yeah so far I think it's a good powder foundation for the price um I think this is about $36 so it's not that bad right and the sponge I'm definitely gonna keep for touch up throughout the day just to like pat my nose if like my oil starting to go through um, it hasn't oxidized or anything like that or changed color as you guys can see because I kind of went ahead and did a few things um, and then I came back to just give you guys my final thoughts because I just wanted to like set in you know get let it let it marinate a little bit but other than that I hope the video and tutorial was helpful until next time thank you guys so much for watching stay blessed and I'll catch you in my next one so my final conclusion is that this powder listen girl it's gonna hide all your secrets it's gonna hide all your sins well it can't really hide your sins only Jesus can do that 